Understanding Plant Genetics, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, plant genetics. This concept is not just central to biology, but it's also a fascinating area of study that tells us a lot about how plants grow, develop, and adapt. Whether you're a student, a gardening enthusiast, or just curious about nature, understanding plant genetics can be really enlightening. Let's explore this topic together. Genetics is the study of genes, heredity, and genetic variation in living organisms. It explains how traits are passed from parents to their offspring. In plants, genetics helps us understand how different characteristics, like flower color, shape, or resistance to diseases, are inherited. Before we delve deeper, let's clarify some basic terms. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, the molecule that carries genetic instructions in all living things. Gene, a segment of DNA that determines a specific trait. Chromosome, a structure of DNA and protein found in cells, which contains many genes. Allele, different forms of a gene that exist for a trait. Genotype, the genetic makeup of an organism. Phenotype, the observable physical or biochemical characteristics of an organism, as determined by both genetic makeup and environmental influences. Plants have a wide variety of genes that determine everything from their size to how they react to different environments. For example, some genes control the color of a flower, while others might make a plant more resistant to drought or cold. Inheritance in plants can follow different patterns. Dominant and recessive genes. A dominant gene overshadows a recessive gene. For example, if a plant has one allele for red flowers, dominant, and one for white, recessive, the plant will have red flowers. Codominance. Both alleles in a pair are expressed equally. For instance, a plant might have both red and white spots on its flowers if it inherits one allele for red flowers and one for white. Genetic variation is crucial for the survival and adaptation of plants. It allows plants to adapt to different environments and can lead to the evolution of new species over time. For instance, a plant with a genetic mutation that makes it more resistant to drought may survive better in arid environments. That's a wrap on our journey through the world of plant genetics. I hope this video has helped illuminate how fascinating and vital genetics is in understanding the life of plants. Remember, genetics isn't just a complex scientific concept. It's a window into the living world around us. Keep exploring, stay curious, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!